Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from SNS Exotics 25 anniversary celebration party and I've had the honor and the privilege of getting to see this darling little baby sloth. Oh my goodness. Yes, they do have very ferocious teeth so pet with care. Okay, Robert, I don't want to do too much to upset the baby. So tell us everything you can in two minutes or less. She's about, I want to say about a year, year and a half uh -huh. old, maybe. And then she is strictly her, she likes her vegetables. Mm. Strictly vegetarian. So this is a two-toed sloth. Two-toed sloth, yes. And this is a baby that was born and in bred captivity. in captivity. Yep. Not an animal Definitely. collected from the wild. No, by no means. <laughs> Ooh, you're gonna do. Tell us about uh, enclosure feeding um, husbands. These guys, it's really, I mean, it's, you have to watch their temperature. They are like reptiles. They cannot regulate their own body temperature. Okay. So you have to give them as much heat as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. As a baby, we've got them in a ferret nation, critter nation. Okay. And they more or less just hang out by the heat lamp. Like literally. Twenty-four seven. Yes. Okay. So they just hang out by the heat lamp. They've got a little perch they get up on. That's where her food goes, that's where her milk goes, that's where everything that she'll eat goes right there. And then we put her water on the bottom just to give her her um, exercise. Yeah. So, and she is amazing and gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, my baby. Um, now, um, do you have Monday to trim, Is it? are they called claws? What? They are called claws. Okay. And you do have to trim them. It's rare, a lot of times they break just because of the climbing and everything. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, as they get older and as they age, their nails are constantly growing. Okay. So, if they get too long, then yes, they definitely have to be trimmed. So, tell us about the range of vocalizations. Like, I'm hearing there her make is this little multiple. grunting. I've heard them go from a grunting to a growling to a barking. They will hit the cage when they're mad. I mean, and it's the weirdest, the funniest thing. Some things that you think will never set them off will automatically set them off. Now, this is a, so a super advanced level care. Oh, yes. Very, very advanced. Um, it's also a more fragile animal as far as very temperature. Very delicate. And an animal that can become stressed out. Very easily. So, if, if they get stressed, they stop eating, then they dehydrate, and they will die on you. Mm. It's very simple. So what country is this two-toed sloth native to? Okay. Diana, Excellent. that area. It's also a kind of a like a high dollar investment. So definitely not oh, yeah. a beginner and even an intermediate pet. Oh, no. What's their lifespan like? Usually about 20 years. Wow. Um, how much do you think they really enjoy human companionship? Like, do they bond to people? Yes, I do believe they do. Okay. I do believe they become accustomed to one person. Okay. And that's just more or less how they act. They'll let anybody interact with them, but if the one person that is their caretaker is going to be the one that they love. Oh, sweet. Because they're communal in the wild, aren't oh, yeah. they? Uh, not really communal. They hang out in the tree by themselves. Okay. So no. More solitary. Yeah, solitary okay. animals. Oh my god, you got a little milky mustache there. Oh uh, yeah, she likes her milk. Is this baby still in a bottle or is no, that just from No, she her drinks dish? it out of a bowl. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. And they're very vocal. Precious. But super cute too. Oh, I just, oh, I just, I'm in love. Definitely, if you're ever planning to adopt any animal, do your research. Thank you so much to Penny and Suzette for inviting us to this event, for sharing this beautiful baby. Thank you, Robert, for giving us some Anytime. education. My pleasure. And for being a good babysitter. Oh, I love these guys. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. They are definitely oh, part of the family. Goodness. All right, I hope you guys like this one. We'll drop their contact information and their website in the description box below. See you guys soon. Thank you.